Amateur. Well, 90 homes remain under mandatory evacuation along the Kings River in Tulare County, California. The aerial footage shows the devastating flooding occurring in Central California. It's snowmelt from the Sierra Nevada, the primary cause of this flooding. That area remains under a flood warning until Monday. And Dr. Navarro here uh, to talk about, you know, the benefits and then the problems that come with the snowmelt. You know, so glad to see that snow falling this winter. The snowpack, great news for this state in drought, but... Of course, once it warms up, all that water goes somewhere. It was so amazing to see the impact the heavy rains had this year on the drought, the snow. We haven't seen snowpack like this in years, but here comes spring and it's been warm now. We've had this big ridge in place and you can see that's going to pose some issues because even now that we're in the month of June, we still have a fairly impressive snowpack above six feet for much of the Sierra. But with those warm temperatures in place, that snow is going to melt. It's not surprising that we're going to see some effects. And Alex, that ridge is to blame for all of it. Right. We're keeping those very, very warm temperatures. So even once you get into the high elevations, you're still melting that snow. Absolutely. And it's fairly atypical to have 90s, but that's what they've been seeing. And unfortunately, it could be a couple days of flooding for a lot of these people. So this really is a story out there in parts of the West, Mike. It sure it is. Now, look at this live picture from the base of Kirkwood Mountain in Kirkwood, California. Temperatures here in the lower 80s. Uh, it was very, very warm in the last week or so. It's cooled down now, 70 right now, but conditions are expected to be dry. Temperatures may modify just a bit, and that may allow us to melt the snow at a more even pace. Right. Um, yeah, you'd love to see that. Problem. Right, it's been it's been really rapid that melt. And Kevin Coop Cooper is live for us tonight, senior communications manager for Heavenly and Kirkwood Resorts at Lake Tahoe. Coop, thanks so much for joining us. You know, we celebrate all the snow that falls during the uh, winter months, but now as we get that rapid snow melt, it's causing problems. <laughs> yeah, you know, there has been, you know, over the last week, I just heard you talk about it's the 70s today. It's about 80 here in South Lake right now. Upper elevation is about 70, 72. But we saw 86 to 90 degree temperatures for about a seven-day straight period. That really started the melt out. And six to six, six, since the 16th of June, 12 billion gallons of water has flown through those 63 tributaries into Lake Tahoe, raising it another four inches. We're almost at the legal limit right now with the lake. So the water managers over in Truckee, the only outlet, are really having to manage that water, which is running about 1,100 to 1,500 cubic feet per second, which is pretty much, I think, an 11-year or even more historical record for the Truckee River. Hey, uh, Coop, how do they control the water at Lake Tahoe? If you, for people that may not be familiar, do they have a dam at the lake? Do they control the inflow out into the lake? How does it work? So you don't control the inflow. Those are 63 tributaries that are flowing into the lake right now. I'm on the South Lake right now. This is right here at Tahoe Keys Marina. Over on the North Shore, there is one outlet, and we call that Fanny Bridge. That's managed by the Army Corps of Engineers. And that is the one outlet down the Truckee, down towards Reno. Now, the interesting part about the Truckee is just three years, or two years ago, at the height of the drought, at 2.15, the water didn't even reach the dam's doors. Now it's almost to the rim of those doors. So they're having to manage it very carefully right now. Yeah, and I would imagine it's, it's been quite some time since the water managers have had an issue in this direction. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, we went from famine to feast. I mean, this year, 702 to 850 inches, depending on where you were around the lake. And now all of the rivers moving down to the reservoirs and dams in Northern California are having to manage that water carefully so they don't get flooding. But these high, these high temperature spikes really weren't what we were counting on, so a lot started to move quickly. The extremes that we're seeing, it's just, it's just totally fascinating. Coop, thank you so much for being with us. And you think about it, epic snows, yeah. and then now temperature spikes being the problem in the summer. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you, it was something that Tom Nizzle mentioned when he was here forecasting, mm -hmm. you know, the snow. You want that yeah. gradual melt-off. And unfortunately, when you're having temperatures in the 80s and 90s, you're not getting it. Well, 50 years ago, Hurricane Audrey came.